Now, we have with us in the studio <clears throat> Paul Dempsey from Something for Kate and Vanessa Brady, the President of the Australian Association of Campus Activities, in the studio to talk to us a little bit about what is happening on the National Campus Band Tours. Make the most welcome, please. Going wild. <laughs> Welcome, Paul and Vanessa, to this recovery studio. How do you do? And please don't burn your head on the thing behind you as well. We have live flame in the studio today to keep everyone on their toes. So you're here to chat about the National All Ages Campus Tour, and and let us know all about what's it all about. Paul, you're from this band, something for Kate. That band. This band. And I'd like to start chatting to you. What's the whole idea behind Unipalooza? Uh, Unipalooza, the name of this tour, yes, I've yeah. established that. <laughs> just to um, basically try and get bands playing somewhere other than pubs and somewhere where people of all ages can hopefully go and see them. Yeah? Um, yeah, just sort of, I mean, the sort of the live gig circuit in Australia just seems to be, you know, pubs in capital cities, but this will go to sort of regional areas. So, yeah, into the country areas and, and give people a chance who can't get into pubs to go yeah. and see the bands. Yeah. Fantastic. Is, is this the first time that these three bands, the three bands that are touring, something for Kate, Paul's band, um, Blue Bottle Kiss as well, and Jebediah, these three bands, have you played with these other two bands before? We have at different times, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and do you dig them? I dig them very much. That's lucky, isn't totally. it? Totally. Yeah. What's, what's the background for something for Kate? Well, where did you start? You've got a mini album out, I, I hear. Yep. I've got. That one right there. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we got together about two years ago. We're from Melbourne. Yeah. Um, we just sort of, I went to school with uh, the drummer and we met the bass player and she got together and started playing. Mm. And, uh, you know, basically did the band thing, tried to get gigs, tried to play and yeah. now sort of the ball's rolling. And now it's snowballing with this big tour thing. Mm. Um, have you got a, any, just while we're on the something, for Katie, have you got plans for a full album soon? Uh, Soon-ish, yeah. Mm. We've, got, we've got a new single coming out soon and there'll be an album after that. Yeah. Yeah, new single next month. Excellent news. Yes. Now, now you're used to doing all ages shows, aren't you? I, I hear you've done lots. Yeah. Well, your fair share anyway. Um, is there a different in audience, difference in audience response from the, the overage and the underage? Uh, yeah, the, the amount of energy that you, know, that you get off the crowd is very much different. Is because, it? Yeah, well, I mean, they're just, because also, I mean, those all-ages shows are never in a pub, so they're going to see a band. And they're not they're drunk, not, probably. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing. They're not going there <laughs> to have a beer. They're going there to see the band and get into the music, so that's what they're there for. And so they're into it. Yeah. Cool. So do you think it's an important thing to play all-age shows? I think it's an important thing to play to as many people as possible. And, yeah, I mean, younger people are definitely, um, you know, a huge part of the music scene. Definitely. They sort of give them a go-to. Vanessa. Thanks, Paul, for telling me those things. <laughs> Vanessa, the president of the Australian Australasian Association of Campus Activities and your book bands for RMIT as well. Now, are gigs like the Uni Palooza regular on the campus scene around Australia? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. The um, campus is uh, an unappreciated side of the music industry, yeah, actually. Definitely. So um, they've been happening for years, though, haven't they? Yeah. Um, on a national scale, we've been networking for about 23 years Ooh, now. Mm -hmm. um, and campus life is bigger and better than ever. Yeah. Uh, Jebediah on this tour actually came out of our national campus band competition yes, from last year. Last year they won. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Um, uh, how important are these campus gigs for the rock scene? Are they, you know, a necessary thing? Or? A lot of bands can't actually tour nationally unless they get gigs on campuses on campus to help thing. support the tour. So very important. So it's very important. Yeah. yeah. Um, who, can anyone attend these things? Do you have to be a uni student? No, no. You don't? Uh, a lot of the time you'll find that uh, the campuses will get a cheaper deal for the bands if they advertise only on campus, but there's no harm in ringing up an activities office every now and then and saying, who have you got coming yeah. up? Um, so you don't need to be over 18 to go to these things? 
depends on the gigs. So some the gigs vary, right? Some are all ages. Yeah. So how can people find out about this? If, if you're in a state and you hear that, you, you know, your local university or whatever has got a whole lot of gigs on, you don't know whether you can get in because you're under 18, who do you ring? You ring the activities office usually. Mm -hmm. It'll also be in the local press and there'll be flyers posted up yeah. everywhere. Cool. So you don't even have to be a student union member to walk on the campus. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, that's great news. Anyone can go. Sometimes. <laughs> Usually. Make a call. Um, other gig plans? Oh. Besides Unipalooza? Oh, well, there's a lot of things on the ball at the moment. Uh, there's the National Campus Band Competitions up and happening again as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're looking for our next Jebediah, basically. Yes. Uh, Jebediah feature on a compilation out by Troy Horse called Edible 96. No, that's... Well, that's their... That's Blue Bottle Kiss. Blue Bottle Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. That's Jebediah's single. There's a compilation that Troy Horse put out with 10 bands from last year's band competition. Oh, good. Um, great compilation. Yeah. Very good compilation. Um, that's being brought out next week. Cool. Uh, we're also doing stuff with the Melbourne Comedy Festival. We do a national com campus comedy competition and oh, yes, art yes, prizes yes. and all that. sorts of things on the You're campus. You're beating soon. me. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got your own website as well. Yeah, we do for the band comp. For the band comp, that is. Yes. The website, did we put that up before? H -T -T -P, there we are, National Camp. So you can write into that homepage and find out stuff. Wicked. Um, the Raw Comedy thing you started to mention just then. This is for Young Comics. It's on its, it, with Triple J thing, is that, is that the thing? Yes, it's with uh, the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and Triple J. Mm -hmm. It's called Raw Comedy, Unearthing Comedians. Right, yes. It has an open section and a campus section. Um, so basically campuses this year have been doing heats, yeah. trying to find their budding comedians. Oh, have they found any exciting new talent yet? Uh, Victoria's already had their heats, and yeah. yes, they've already found some. Mm. Uh, and they'll go to the Comedy Festival next year and battle it out to wow. be the uh, campus winner and the open section winner. Yeah, the open section winner. Wow. Well, have, have there been any famous ones in the past? Or is... This is our first, this is the first, first one. one. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> All right, let's just go through quickly the Unipalooza details, the dates and stuff. When are we starting? We're, we're starting off in... Um, where's my bit of paper? Ah. Tuesday week. Tuesday, August 13, starting off in Melbourne, moving all around the place and ending up in Perth. What places are you visiting along the way? Uh, most of your regional centres, yes. places like uh, you know Newcastle, Lismore, Armadale, Wagga, places like that. Excellent, Just... excellent. And the and the dates I've given. The lineup for once again for the Unipalooza too. We've got something for Kate playing, Paul's band. We've got Jebediah playing, and we've got Blue Bottle Kiss. All of these bands. We've got that's. Perth, Sydney, Melbourne represented all over the place. Thank you very much for coming in and chatting this morning. It's been a great pleasure. Please. Thank you.